So next we are going to study series resistors and parallel resistors. So see that series series resistors and parallel resistors. Parallel resistors. So first we see series resistors. So just that uh, if two resistors are connected in a series, so this is A and this is a B. So this is a R1 and this is R2. So how to find the total resistance? So I can find the total resistance RAB. RAB is equal to simply add R1 plus R2. R1 plus <coughs> R2. If there are three resistors or more than three resistors are connected, we can simply add this. For example, I have connected, uh, there are four resistors I have connected. There are four resistors are connected. This is a A, this is a B, and this is R1, this is R2, and this is R3, and this is R4. So, what are the total resistance? RAB is equal to simply add all the resistors when it is connected in series so r1 plus uh, r1 plus r2 plus r3 r3 plus r4 right this is how we are going to find the total resistance right so now uh, to find the a simple example with the numerical values. So if I take here um, this is this is one ohm, this is three ohm. Right. So what are the total resistance? That's very easy to find. RAB is equal to one plus three. One plus three. So it is a four. RAB is equal to 4 ohm. Like this, suppose if I have a four resistors in parallel, right? This is a A, this is a B, so this is a 1 ohm, this is a 5 ohm, this is a 10 ohm, okay? So this one is a 4 ohm. So how much total? 20. So RAB is equal to, so you can write 1 plus, 1 plus 5 plus 10 plus so this is 15, 15, 19 plus 20. So this is 20 ohm. This value is 20 ohm. Total resistance is 20. That's how we are going to find it. Right now, we we'll just see next the parallel. Parallel in a parallel circuit, in parallel resistance. Right. So what happens if you see the circuit is like this? Circuit is like this A and B. So so this is a R1, this is a R2, and this one is the R3. So first we just go for uh, only with the two resistors, and the next we will go for uh, three. Right. So how to find this? It's very simple to find it. So one by RAB is equal to one by RAB is equal to so one by R1 plus 1 by R2. So we can write take LCM. So you can write this one R1 R2 plus R1 by R1 and R2. Right. So just cross multiply. So you will get RAB is equal to R12 into R2 by R1 plus R2. R2. So this is how you are going to find the total resistance. So how to find the total resistance? See RAB in parallel circuit. RAB is equal to how we are going to find? It's very simple. Total resistance. So these two resistors in multiplied R1 into R2 by under this total res, uh, two resistor add it in uh, denominator. So you will get RAB total RAB that is uh, RAB. You will get right. Suppose the three resistors are there. How we do it? 
<coughs> three resistors are connected in parallel. So that's also very easy to find it. Right. So same uh, method you can use it. So how are we going to find it? So you can use it uh, this. AP. This is R1, R2, and R3. First, to find these two resistances, right? And uh, these two resistances become one resistor, and I can find these two resistances. Or you can use the this method, conductance method. Total GAB is equal to G1 plus G2 plus G3. That method also you can find it, right? So we are going to write it. How we are going to write this? RAB one by R A B is equal to one by R one plus one by R two plus one by R three. Right. What is one by R A B is G A B. One by R one is G one. One by R two is G two. One by R three is G three. You know that conductance is equal to the reciprocal of resistance. So this formula you know. Right. Now the next is the series capacitors. Series. Resistors and parallel resistors. I want to discuss. So next we are going to find the series capacitors. Series capacitors. So series. And parallel parallel capacitors. Right. So series capacitors actually it's a different from resistors. Suppose I take a two capacitors in series. If I take a two uh, capacitors in series. Suppose like this. This is a A and this is a B, and this is C1 and this is C2. So two capacitors, capacitors are connected in series, right? So you have to remember two important things here. Many times students are uh, um, very careless about the symbols. So see, this this is a voltage symbol. This is a voltage symbol, right? This is a plus voltage symbol, right? This is a plus. This is a negative. Sometimes the capacitor should be this plate should be equal. This board should be equal. So in a battery, one terminal should be one uh, big size, another one is the small size. In capacitor, this this board should be the same size, right? Same height or same size, right? So this is actually battery. Symbol battery symbol symbol. So this one for this one for capacitor. This one for capacitor. Sometimes you are writing for capacitor symbol like this. So that is a wrong, right? So that you have to remember. So see these two capacitors are parallel uh, series. So you should not write C1 plus C2. That's wrong, right? So in capacitor what happened? The CAB just like a Parallel resistor C A B is equal to one by C one plus one by C two, right? So C A B is equal to here C A B is equal to C one into C two by C one plus C two. C one plus C two. So if you have three capacitors, you can do the same thing. Suppose uh, two capacitors are connected in a parallel. So parallel capacitors. Parallel capacitors. So what do you do? If there are uh, C, this is we connected two capacitors C one, C two. So these two capacitors are in parallel. So I want to find total C A B. Right? This is of course terminal A. This B. 
So what is the total capacitance? So CAB is equal to when this capacitance are parallel, just to simply add it. See it like this. Right? If another capacitor I add it here, yeah. If another capacitor that is C3, so you can write like this. CAB is equal to simply add C1 plus C2 plus C3. So this is how we are going to find the total capacitance in series and parallel circuits. Right? And uh, if we take and again inductors, right? In inductors, first I am going to find the inductors. So first we find for series inductors, right? Series inductors, you just see the two inductors are connected in series. So this is a symbol of inductors, inductors. So this is two inductors, this is A, this is a B, so L1 and L2. So what is the total inductance? LAB is equal to like resistance, you just add it, L1 plus L2. L1 plus L2. Right. If there are three resistors, right? If there are three resistors like this. Sorry, there are the three inductors. So there is a one Henry, okay? There is a two Henry or a five Henry. So what is the total? LAB is equal to Right, one hundred plus two plus five. Right, how much total? Eight hundred. So never forget to mention units. We don't mention. We don't know what are those. Okay. So this is eight. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. The same if you connected to uh, connected parallel. If you connect uh, parallel. If they connect to parallel, what is LAB? This is L1 and this is L2. What is the total inductance? What is the total induction? Like uh, series, like parallel res uh, resistors, so total LAB is equal to just L1 into L2 by L1 plus L2. So if you have more than two resistors connected in parallel, you can use the same formula, you can find the total inductance. Right? So, for example, if you take this one, um, 3 Henry and this is a 4 Henry. So, how will you do it? So, 4 into 3 into 4 by 3 plus 4. Right? So, 12 by 7. So, this is a 20. 12 by 7, 10. Right? So, this is how we are going to find the inductance. Right? So, next. We see. So we see the summary. So what we have learned so far. So first we have learned about resistor. All right. So resistor, inductor, and capacitors. We have learned it. Okay. So the first is uh, resistance. What is the resistor? So resistor is a device. All right. And it is used for to resist the flow of current. All right. And also we have found that how to find the metal of any resistance, right? So, we can find using this formula R is equal to rho L by A. R is equal to rho L by A. So, this is the resistivity. Resistivity of the material changes material to material. So, can you tell me what is the what is the unit of resistivity? Resistivity. It's very simple to find units. So, what you do just to you uh, cross multiply of this R into A right by L is equal to rho. So I want to find the unit of resistivity. So what is the resistance unit O? So what is the unit of area? So M square. What is the unit of L? It is a M. So this both gets cancelled. So O meter. So unit is O 
meter. Right. And also we have found the power dissipation through the resistance. What are the equation power dissipation? Power dissipation in the system P is equal to V into I and also we can use I square into R I square into R right and also so you can use V square by R so any of these C formulas you can use it and to find the power dissipation in the resistor, resistor right and also we have find the value of the resistor by using the color code color code by using color code so we have found the resistance value right and also multimeter how the what is the equation db ray db ray great britain very good well, that's we have to remember right these are the names of the colors right so gold is 5% is tolerance and silver is 10% is and others are the 20% is so next uh, next what is the inductor right so So in inductors, what are the things that are found in inductors? The second one is inductor. Inductor. So inductor is what it is a device. Actually, it stores a magnetic field right it is a device that stores a magnetic field that just stores magnetic field so what are the equation and this stored in the magnetic field of L I square so this equation we have derived right and also it is a memory element this is a memory element. This is a memory <coughs> element. It has some memory. It can store energy. So next is the capacitor. So third one is the capacitor. So, so capacitor is a device. It is used for to store electric field. So electric Field. So, what are the equation to store the energy in the form of electric field in capacitor of Cv square of Cv square. So, this is the equation. Alright. And finally, we found parallel resistors, series resistors and uh, parallel capacitors and series capacitor, parallel inductor and series inductor. So, finally, we found all those things. So, this is a summary what you have. So next is uh, the next one is the references. So what are the references? So I have uh, taken material from this textbooks, Fundamentals of Electric Circuits. So author is Charles K. Alexander and uh, Matthew. Okay. So in was uh, sorry. So the publication is Megra Hill Publication. So this is the uh, from this book only I have taken uh, for my lecture the content and a few pictures I have taken from internet right so this is a very good book for uh, electric circuits and also I have sent uh, I, uh, uh, sent you also this textbook uh, through uh, WhatsApp so you can uh, use the uh, textbook to study right. Thank you. So any questions in an uh, online class, uh, you can ask and I can uh, clear what also.